welcome back to Time Portal Toys. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today's video is going to be concentrating on the My Pet Monster Senior. This is a 1986 monster made by Amtoy. And we're going to be doing a quite similar video to the last ones. Horns aren't too bad on this one. Eyes aren't too bad on this one. So we're going to sort out his face, sort out the little chips and dints on his teeth. We've also got the issue of the hands as usual. These hands are looking a little bit sparkly. That's because I've been experimenting, trying to see if I can get different ways of bringing the hands back without me having to pop them off. This is what I was using. It was a flexible silver fabric paint. It didn't go well. I ended up going through about three cans of this. It's gone hard. It didn't work well. It was an experiment to see if it worked. It didn't. So please don't try and use this stuff for your monster. Flexible fabric paint, silver, it didn't work. So with the failed experiment in mind, I think the only way to get these back to how they used to look is similar to the last video, we're going to remove these, we're going to trace around them and we're going to put some brand new ones on for him. He also has the same issue with his feet. This monster was in better condition before I decided to put him in the washing machine. Just bear in mind that if you do put your monster in the washing machine, his fingernails and his toenails will probably wash off, as will any remnants of the silver that was left on them. So it's not a great idea to pop your monster in the washing machine unless you're prepared to renovate his hands yourself. So let's get cracking with the first step, which is going to be to mask off the monster's face and just expose the plastic parts which need to be painted. Then we're going to get the airbrush along with the colours, which I have saved from the previous video, so I don't need to mix them again. And then we're going to start applying some to his nose and onto his teeth. So the only thing we really need to do here is apply this darker colour green, paint his warts up, sort these little dints and scratches out on his teeth which shouldn't take too long. So we need to go and find our airbrush and go and load it up and we'll begin with this darker green on his nose here. So just before I begin painting this is the paint that I'm using, it's Plastic Coat Fast Dry Project Enamel. Okay, so face is finished, looking good, his teeth are looking much brighter now, the dents and scratches have now gone, nose water painted back up again, so the next stage is we're going to have a quick look at his hands and his feet. First thing as always is I'm going to pop these off, I'm going to get the seams down here with my seam popping tool, and we're going to remove the hands, going to remove the feet, and then we're going to trace around them. So we've popped his right hand off, we've popped his right foot off. Here they are. Quite a lot of fluff came out of them. And again, as always, I've just made a note of the right back and the right front of the hand. And same with the foot, just so I know which one's which when I take the left ones off as well. I don't get mixed up with them. I'm going to take all this stuffing out of them now. I'm going to get them over to the sewing machine and I'm going to make a replica right and left hand. I'll also, while I'm doing that, flip them over and make the left ones as well. I've left these ones on for now so we could see a bit of a comparison between the two. So let's go and get these over to the sewing machine and we'll start our next step. So here we have the fabric purchased from eBay. It's called Space Grey. It's got a nice little stretch to it just like our original monster's hands would have been back in the day. So next I'm just going to trace around this template uh, and then I'm going to put it onto the sewing machine and start making some brand new hands for our monster. So this was the original and this is the piece that we've cut out from the template. So let's 
pop this onto the sewing machine and start making some new hands for our monster. What's happened to his little finger there, but I am not happy with that. Little finger doesn't look right, or his thumb. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to have another go at this. I'm going to trace around his hand while it's still attached and see if I can get a better likeness. I'm not happy with the way that that shape's come out at all. Let's have another go. Okay, we'll call that a minor setback and nothing more, nothing we can't handle. I'm going to trace around this and I'm going to give a, quite a bit of give either side. I'm going to do quite a big tracing round here and then we'll sew those together and see if that's not a better likeness of this hand. So here's hoping for a better version of this hand. And that, folks, is a My Pet Monster hand. There you go. You can see comparison of the two. Very similar. There you go. So I'm happy with those. I'm going to sew those ones on. So we're back with this design that I used in the previous video. This was scanned in directly from the big monster's fingers. So if you haven't seen the previous videos for the smaller My Pet Monster Junior restoration, you'll see exactly where I got these from. So this time we're going to try a slightly different technique. We've printed these onto water slide paper today instead of the t-shirt transfer paper that we used in the last video. The last video involved me cutting around these carefully and attaching them to the fingers and using a hot iron. Again, definitely not recommended really to put a hot iron on your My Pet Monster. I can't say that enough. If I use this, if it gets wrecked, I make another one. This one involves no hot iron. First thing I need to do is seal these and I'm just going to put a little light spray in of sealant over the top of them. I'm just going to use a, a varnish that I've got in the garage. So I've given these a couple of coats of this super clear stuff. It's a gloss clear sealer. That's done and these are now dry. They look pretty good. I always print two off just in case I mess one up. So these water slide fingernails are now going to go into a little bit of water once I've cut them out. And then we'll try and apply one to his fingers and then we'll do the rest. So the next stage with our fingernails is we're going to pop it into a little bit of water. You'll see it start to curl around. Doesn't take long once it's in there for the back to kind of saturate. And then it's a simple case of peeling it off. I'm just going to give it a minute. I think that's probably long enough. So once we've taken this out, if you place it where it's going to go, I usually just wet up the area slightly as well before it goes on. And then very, very gently just start to slide it and it will come off and it will come onto, can you just see that? It'll start to, the transfer paper will just start to slide off onto your surface area. Just try and keep it flat if you can. The back part's on all right. We're just going to flatten that up now. It's just come up a little tiny bit there, so I might just take a little bit of manipulating. See, it's just curled over there slightly. Just trying to curl that back. There we go. Sometimes it can be a bit of a tricky process, this, but once it's on and it's flat, it looks pretty good. I'm just going to flatten that out now with my thumb. And the pet monster nails usually just kind of curl around a little bit. So feel free to tuck them under into the stitching slightly. Just to give it that authentic look. And I'm just going to keep flattening this out until I've got all the creases out. So it's just a case of being really gentle. I don't want to rub this because I'll end up possibly rubbing the paint off. Or the ink should I say. That's getting better now. 
And the good thing about doing this technique is you don't have to take your original My Pet Monster hands off. You can literally stick these new nails on top of the old ones. There we go, that's not too bad. I'm going to let that dry, quite pleased with that. So there we go, one nail's on. You can sometimes, if you can just see there, you can lose a little tiny bit of the ink if you're not careful. This can be painted back on again, even if you've got uh, some sort of blue felt tip or something like that, you might be able to colour that in. But considering what it used to look like to this, I'd say that's done a pretty decent job. I'm going to finish off the rest of the hands now, do the other hands and the feet, and then we're going to sew these on and see what they look like. So one hand has been sewn on. Word of advice, get your hands sewn on before you attach the nails, because the nails did come off during the process. So what I'll make sure I'll do now is I will take the next hand off and then I'll reapply all the nails together, do the same with the feet, and then we'll have a look and see what the final product looks like. So here we go folks, the final monster with his hands and his feet restored with the new nails on using the water slide paper. These have stuck on really well, they look really nice, I'm really pleased with it. The colours really popped when you were using these water slide techniques. What I would say is if I really wanted to pick this off it wouldn't take much to just get my nail under there and peel it off so you must be careful if you do use this technique. So just bear in mind that this is more likely going to be for display purposes so i hope you've enjoyed the my pet monster restoration videos i've had an absolute blast making them please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel i've got plenty more content coming up and incidentally if you are interested in owning some of these fingernails and toenails they will be at some point up for sale in my etsy shop i just need to set it up i haven't quite got around to doing that yet so don't forget hit that subscribe button make sure that you like this video as well uh, and i hope to see you again very soon for the next time portal toys video. Thanks everyone.